I ask the people of Canterbury to give the commissioners a fair go. Look, we've had an elected council in Canterbury for 19 years and they haven't been able to deliver a water plan. Now anybody with half a brain knows that the water issues in Canterbury are huge. There's more allocated water and irrigation in Canterbury than what there is in the rest of the other 14 count regional councils around New Zealand added all up together. Uh, the regional council has not delivered a plan 19 years after the Resource Management Act was passed. We're not going to get on top of those water management issues without getting that done. Uh, my plea to them is give the commissioners a fair go. The government's move has been well received in agricultural circles. The region is intensively farmed and also notoriously susceptible to drought. I think the reality, and I, and I reside in Canterbury, right. so um, I'm within the um, area that ECAN are responsible for. Uh, the disappointment, disappointment for me with regard to ECAN is all those years spent looking at water but not actually coming up with a plan. And there comes a point where you've got to say enough is enough. And um, look, there is a risk in what the government has, has done, uh, appointing commissioners, but quite frankly, they had to. And so from Federated Farmers' point of view, uh, we welcome the progress that is now being made and we look forward to new initiatives around water storage, water quality and so forth. And uh, it's, it's, there's no future for ECAN simply plodding on with a, a sharply divided council. And that's what they were. While the government and Federated Farmers may be smitten with the decision to remove the Environment Canterbury Board, and replace it with centrally appointed commissioners, not everybody is viewing the move through such rose-tinted spectacles. Last week, thousands of Cantabrians protested the removal of their democratically elected regional council representatives. And environmental advocates Forrest and Bird say the decision to remove the council is a move towards large-scale water projects. Water in Canterbury is a huge issue. It's obviously part of our everyday lives. Canterbury water is nationally renowned for being clear. Uh, it doesn't. It's not chlorinated, for example, and it comes from um, uh, uh, large aquifers, which are at risk of being polluted by nitrates from dairy farms. And of course, we're home to many of the braided rivers in New Zealand. And braided rivers are only found in a handful of places around the world. Here, Alaska, the Himalayas. So to us and to thousands and thousands of the people of Canterbury, to simply disregard the protection of those rivers which are enjoyed by fishermen, um, you know, recreational sports, kids, families, and of course all of us to drink them uh, for the benefit of some greedy dairy farming corporate investment is, um, is a bit of a scandal, really. In the meantime, Environment Canterbury told Country 99 TV they have their sleeves rolled up and are already down to business. Benedict Collins, Country 99 TV News.